Hello, my friends. I thought I'd give you a little update on what's been going on. And aside from that, just a full on blown update on everything that has been happening. So, for one, uh, my apologies for not actually doing any videos for this weekend because I've been working on a lot of backlog. So, that means um, any new videos that are coming in. They'll start up next next week. So what I mean by backlog is that I've been working on basically trying to finish a lot of games that I can in a short amount of time in one single sitting and then just go about slapping them onto the channel and moving on from there. Now on that list is mainly some past stuff I haven't finished because of well mainly life and on top of that there are also some things that have been going on which has made, made me kind of sluggish so the first thing is we're talking about the house so here's an update on things that are going on at the house first off um, as you can tell I am sounding a lot better um, last week I was well, just an emotional wreck because of what has been going on. Um, for the last couple of days that I have been um, basically here but not here, I'd say, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but I am all here for the most part that means uh technically yeah i i'm here i'm present i'm i'm all the way present just last couple of days that 80 percent of me has pretty much had me a lot physically locked so you know, after everything that has been going on, it's been overwhelming me emotionally, spiritually, and for the most part, in my moments of solitude, I've broken down. And so, let that be said that, yeah, I, I couldn't take so much as, like, one single bit of criticism because you know just that one bit and I'm doing so much that I can that it's just really too much and basically I had a shutdown <laughs> I had a shutdown I cried a couple of days because when you got somebody that close to your heart like that There's nothing, and I mean nothing that can basically, no one can tell you otherwise about why you feel the way you feel. That's how I've been feeling, especially with how my mom has been. It's been basically tumultuous because she had the, because what happened was she had the operation. The procedure was a success. When we first saw her, it was terrifying. It was terrifying. I mean, th there was no simple other way to explain other than it was terrifying. Even though she was breathing oxygen, just the state she was in, it was really terrifying. And... I I really couldn't take it you know it was too much and you know riding on fumes and emotional exhaust it's it's just been in a term that pretty much explains everything that's been going on
and so on that matter I just felt like you know after everything that has been going on after all that's been said I need to make a judgment call so during this whole week that was going on um, mom was transferred to a place by In Inglewood and it's really really close to us and we didn't even realize how close it was until we until we actually visit the place um, this past Thursday now it's about I'd say about a 12 minute drive I think because from where we are and where um, well I might say 10 maybe 20 minutes depending on traffic so where we are we are like just that close to just that close to Inglewood and the place she is is called Primrose Primrose Post ac Accurate I mean Post not Accurate Acute Primrose Post Acute that's where she is right now and um, I've called several times and they've called me just to let 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 me and 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 us know that she's okay the transfer was complete nothing is actually wrong the thing now is she's getting those nutrients gradually being fed into her when we came home today after seeing her because we spent we spent about an hour with her there and for most of what I've been doing with her was um, writing in her hand. You know, I've been, you know, from what the ladies have been doing, mainly my cousin and my sister, they were taking care of her hair while I was just basically writing her hand, you know, just writing something in her hand. Since I ba since you know it, it it's a way of expressing myself to her I basically just wrote in her hand you know you know something soft something simple like I love you get well soon be strong you know something simple something uplifting something that just says it's going to be all right. I've written in her hand today. Um, I love you, Mom. My Yamato Nadeshiko. You know, letter by letter, in her, in her, well, not on her palm, but on her hand, with my finger. So basically, I just let her know that I'm here. And I'm almost going to be here for her. So aside from that, you know, moral support is always a strong boost in the case of this. So I had to basically say what I had to say to her. Throughout this entire episode that has been going on with her, basically... I made amends to her and I feel more and more at peace with myself because I would like to know what's going on and even though it's sort of protecting me I don't want that kind of protection to where I'm worried about her because believe it or not I'm I, you know it's not, I'm gonna be worried about her I'm always going to be worried about her. Just like she's, she worried about me, I'm always going to be worried about her. So, that, you know, being Izzy comes first before being the Tenkaichi, you know. 
Because, you know, being the Tenkaichi is just saying, you know, I'm this... I'm this guy that can pull off miracles or something like that. You know, I just, I give my best, um, whatever I do. So that is just part for the course. This, this is what I'm doing on, on, on YouTube. Yeah, I'm tank. I'm the tank AG. But me here, as you can tell, just, just me, the core, is he? But aside from that, we're still going strong. We're st we're still doing what we have to do and make do with what we got, which is always a good thing because you know, as far as I know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, in the sense of this, um, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm basically telling you guys what's what's happening with both the house and then you know the channel so I'm getting the house out of the way first another thing I'm planning to do and I probably might do it next week but I've been but I have but I have been doing it is um I plan to clean out my room in which I'm actually looking at what I systematically what I'm plan to do with my room and for what it is going to be worth I think it's going to be better because at the same time and I apologize like that one I've been having issues with my phone lately. Well, I don't know why, but like my phone's been blanking out on me. Sometimes it's on the fritz, so sometimes it it wants to and it doesn't want to. So aside from that, what I'm doing is just systematically plotting what I'm going to do next. So one of the things I plan to do is really clean up my room, and systematically, I'm going to I'm going to deal with the floor first, then all these boxes I have. All these boxes I have here, I'm basically going to just try and just get most of what I got in here out and basically make more space for myself I have made like some kind of progress because oh I'm looking at I'm looking at what kind of space I made to push my um my light back my um my stereo back a bit and I plan to take out a few things that just need to be taken out because for one I got a lot of a lot of clothes a lot of clothes that just need dealing with and for what it's worth yeah I can't wear I, I can't wear any of these clothes no more because I've grown bigger And taller. So, yeah, you can tell it's been crazy. One moment. <sighs> As I was saying, um, yeah, I got plans for this room line. I also have plans to take back my take back the back house just because um, you know there are times I want to have the, I want to have that that quote unquote my space just because you know that back house really hadn't had any proper use so 
after I get this situated with my room then next is gonna be the back house and pretty much after that then I should be back to work on my novels that's another thing I plan to do so probably the second thing I probably will do as far as books are concerned I found um, my old poetry book per se so I haven't I haven't used this is just all the poems I've compiled during my younger years around when I was you know my 19 through 25 years 19 years old to 25 so yeah those, yeah those were my younger years when I first started doing poetry a lot so that's probably another thing I'm gonna be working on just to give myself you know a jump a jump start on me being a, me being a writer you know I'm basically going to go back to doing you know journal entries and whatnot just basically just to share what's been on my mind and everything else on top of that dig into that part of me that I haven't dug into for years and trust me it has been a long time since I actually done that so that's another reason why for for my sake I have to do what I had to do what's best for me and you know knowing that mom is okay that pretty much takes a load off my mind it pretty much says okay everything's gonna be fine time to carry on she's doing fine she's healing now you heal it's pretty much pretty much what has been told to me because it, it it's about right she's healing so I should heal she's restoring so I should restore myself I should restore myself to where I should be just to put me on that path that I need to be put back on the path that just basically says oh you should be here Izzy you should not be here but you should be here your checkpoint is right here okay your checkpoint is not back here but it's up here so get to this checkpoint so that's where I am in life I'm just reaching that that next day checkpoint so that's all that's happening on the house front now as for the channel front as I said before, I'm going to be doing a lot of, um, I do mean a lot of channel upgrades. As you can tell, I've been doing, you know, PS2 games. I've been, and I'm slowly working on my 2018, my 2018, um, build up of Let's Plays. So, I've been pretty much been working on most of my 2017 to 18 backlog and what that's going to tell is pretty much all the games I really do need to finish but because of what's been going on hadn't had the chance to hadn't had to drive for it so on that list will be Yakuza, Kingdom Hearts, Rent a Hero, Chrono Trigger, um, Soul Calibur, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, and everything from then on, from the start of 2017. So if I can get most of that done, basically it means I'm getting back to the swing of things. And pretty much whatever I feel like I can finish, that's what I'm going to finish and we can move on from there. And at the same time, I'm going to be working on future episodes of The Chest of Obscurity, as well as all the games that have been compiled to the list of games that I plan to do for The Chest of Obscurity of 2018, as well as my list of Let's Plays 
that I've been compiling over the years. So I mean the old as well as the new as well as you know everything in between that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen and um, I hope you be there to join me when it happens. Another thing I need to tell you is that um this Wednesday coming up um would be my eleventh, I think. Oh, let's see, ten thousand plus uh, twenty seventeen. Yeah, eleven years of being a YouTuber. Yeah, so this coming Wednesday is gonna be my eleven year as a YouTuber. And for the most part, I'm glad I'm actually doing something with my time as being a YouTuber. Which is, you know, doing less plays and doing obscure games. More obscure than what we normally figure is obscure. And I mean, I'm digging for games that are obscure. I'm asking about what's obscure and what not. I'm looking at other channels, watching and, you know, basically seeing what's more obscure than, than the lineup I got. And if there is anything more obscure, I will search for it. I will even go as far as order some games, okay? <laughs> and I can share them on my channel and share them with you, the viewing audience. So... I'm trying to get back. I'm basically getting back in the swing of things. So, for the next couple of weeks, I'm basically just going to be ripping and running through a lot of Let's Plays. And pretty much, um, well, after I get back from today, I'm just going to head out, ready my plans for the next year, and what I'm going to do for the rest of this year. So, I mentioned this before, but my last Let's Play for the year will be Undertale. So, therefore, I may or may not do October because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much going through a lot of backlog. But if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. So, you're not missing much if you don't see anything dark and spooky coming from me in October because I'm doing a lot of inventory work. And if you do see something dark and spooky from me, you know, it'll probably be like a quickie or some sort. It won't be anything, you know, lengthy or something or something to that nature, but it will be something. Okay? That that's all I can tell you. But aside from that, Aside from that, um, I got nothing else to do. Well, actually, I do have something to do. It's like to something right now. Um, according to yeah, it's two thirty right now. It's two thirty right now. So I got plans today. I'm. I'm basically gonna go out, start um, start getting um, my list together and whatnot, what I plan to do, and what I'm going to do. But yeah, like I said, the only the only thing I'm working on right now for 2018 is Arc Lad. So I've been working on that for a while, just in between everything else. I've just been like squeezing a little bits of recording for the next year. So when I'm done with one game, I'm going to be working on stuff in between other games. So therefore, if I get a few uh, chest obscurity requests out of the way, I think I'm set. And I'm making I'm, I'm making myself a whole lot making things a whole lot easier for myself just because it's a little something I'm doing in between everything else. So I'm just getting everything just squared and knocked out of the way. So with that, I'm gonna head out of here. 
because it's 2.30 now. And when I get back, I'm pretty much going to be online, but um, try to keep myself busy in the meantime. So I'm, I'm heading out mainly to lunch. Give myself some me time, work on a few projects outside of the channel and whatnot. And with that, I'll see you next time with more great content. Stay tuned for more developments as they will happen. I will give you an update on Tenkai House in future future videos and then some. So until then, I have been your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi. Pookie Izzy 7 and with that I'll see you next time for more great content until then take care God bless have a great and wonderful weekend and I will see you next time so until then some pious blessings to you all do not meet the back of my fist for, his, for trust me you will not like the taste that will come from it <laughs> if you get on my bad side anyway but until then take care god bless and as always Tenkai Muso later days y'all